Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be here filming another video. And today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, is going to be a autumn slash fall outfits video. To be honest, I've been struggling. This weather, this in between like 15 degree weather, where it's not hot, but it's really not that cold. I just find it really difficult to, to dress stylishly this time of year. So I thought it'd be fun to challenge myself and hopefully give you guys some outfit inspiration if you guys struggle with the same problem as me in terms of dressing for this in-between weather. So I think I'll do maybe five outfits. Um, I'm super excited. I've I've planned them out, kind of, sort of, but I haven't tried them on, so we'll see if it works. Fingers crossed they do. I'm also going to be accessorising with some amazing pieces from the sponsor of this video today, which is Pandora. They have just launched their Pandora Me collection. They've re it, and the pieces are incredible, and they're so me. It's unreal, like they are so my vibe right now. My vibe right now is just living life. Yeah, they're insane. They are like customizable pieces of jewelry. So you can buy like charms and different little add-on bits to kind of change it depending on the style you're going for with your outfit for any specific day, which I think is amazing. And I'm genuinely obsessed with this jewelry. You guys will have seen it already all over my Instagram and stuff like that. I just can't stop wearing it. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this from me. I'm super excited to be filming this and getting back into like the kind of fashion content, I guess. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the first outfit. Outfit number one, we have this really cute tight ribbed dress from Bershka, super comfortable. It's got these cute little stringy bits, which I think look kind of grungy which is the vibe I'm going for today. And then I've got my Pandora necklaces on. This one's amazing. I've got this charm that says freedom, which is just, that's all I'm trying to live right now. It's just freedom and happiness. Um, this beautiful bracelet. I just thought I'd wear one today. And then these cute rings. Um, I haven't put that many charms on today. I think I will add this one. Um, so it's just got these link charms and one that says blessed which i think is also just a really cute one to have and it reminds me to be grateful and to practice gratitude um but i also just love the way it looks on here it's got that kind of old english font um which again i think is super grungy yes oh i love that and then these earrings i just like the way they look quite simple but still add a bit of like oomph and because i've got the necklaces on I feel like I don't need too much more. And I love the kind of paperclip, like carabiner vibe. Again, quite grungy and cool. For my boots, oh, these Dr. Martens, you guys. I'll link them down below if they're still available. They're super hard to find, so hopefully there are still some available because I did actually link them on my Instagram yesterday. For a jacket, I think I'm gonna go with this blazer. Or do I do like, no, I think we're gonna go for the blazer because I feel like anything else will be too warm right now. I really like this dress because it's super warm and it's quite tight, so it just feels cozy. Um, and then yeah, just like a boxy oversized blazer over the top. And I love that you can see the like little bracelet poking through if I kind of pull the sleeves up or whatever. Um, and I feel like the jewelry really breaks up the black as well, which is super nice. Show you guys the full outfit. I hope you guys can see it from all the way over there. I'm kind of tall, so it's really hard to fit in the frame. But yeah, just a very simple, kind of grungy vibe where you still kind of look put together. I think it's the blazer, it just makes you look super put together. But you guys know that Dr. Martens are my uniform, some jewelry to accessorize, and mostly just plain outfits. Okay, so for outfit number two, we're doing very like tomboy kind of varsity vibes. I've got this really cute bralette on from a weekday. I love how the, the jewelry kind of fits perfectly into that V line. Stunning. And again, this is quite delicate, but I'm putting it into a tomboy outfit. So I love the contrast of like the, again, quite grungy jewelry with the girly top. Got my bracelet on, the same rings. I think I'm keeping my jewelry pretty much the same for this outfit. Um, and then I have these trousers on from ASOS, which this is the first time I'm trying them on. I actually got them for a wedding and then ended up wearing like a dress instead. But the shape and the fit of these are giving. They are giving. And then I've thrown on my 
buffalos on top of that, my beigey ones. I feel like these are the ones I wear the most now. I've got them in three different colours, but these are my favourite. Because it's like not that warm, but also not really that cold, I feel like I can get away with just throwing on a varsity jacket like this. Purely because these are so like cosy and big and warm, you can just kind of cosy up inside them. And I feel like the type of material that it is keeps you quite warm anyway. So do I want my hair up or down? I feel like I want my hair up for this. I'll give you a close up of the jacket as well. This is from Skinny Dip. They've got some really cool pieces in at the moment as well, actually. Um, and it just says Chicago 26. I love the back of it. Very cool. And just adds a whole nother kind of level to this look, I think. But yeah, I love just having like a bit more skin peeking out when I'm wearing like a more tomboyish look because I feel like it breaks it up a little bit and still keeps it kind of feminine in a cool way. Um, and to be honest, I wanna have my skin out and my legs out until it's way too cold not to. But yeah, I just feel like the jewelry pieces kind of bring together that tomboy look and give off the vibe that I'm trying to give. So I'm so happy with this outfit. I feel like this video is helping me come up with ideas that I probably wouldn't even think of if it wasn't for me trying to force myself or challenge myself to do this. So thank you guys. <laughs> but yeah. I'll show you guys the full look. Okay, so I wanted to challenge myself to wear blue denim because I just find it so difficult and I've fallen in love with these jeans. They are from weekday. They have a V front, which is so flattering, especially if you're like me and you haven't got much of a waist. They just give you that really, really lovely shape and they fit so well, really nice quality. Perfect length, I'm, I think 5'7", maybe 5'6". I always thought I was like 5'8", but maybe not. But yes, I'm styling blue jeans and you can too. <laughs> so this top I have is from Revolve. Super cute. I feel like leopard slash cheetah print is always in around this time of year and it's just one of those like timeless kind of staple prints that always come back around and I just love the kind of 90s vibe of this outfit again. I feel like most of my style is kind of grungy. That's just what I like. <laughs> so for my jewelry for this outfit, I just took off that extra charm. I feel like the jewelry just fits a bit nicer in the neckline of this top without the extra charm. Um, for my earrings actually I think I might just add on a piece more just because I feel like this outfit is a little bit more girly so I'm going to grab that now. I already know I'm going to be kicking myself for how many times I've said grungy in this outfit. So I'm just going to add on these little charms for the earrings. They're so cute. If you can see, I don't know if you can see, excuse my nails, but it says Pandora and they've got like stones in them which is so cute. Add a little bit of like sparkle and bling. So I'm just going to hook those on. And as you guys can see, it just adds a little something extra, which I think looks really nice with this outfit, especially because my hair is out of my face, or mostly out of my face. There we go. So cute. Just adds another dimension to the jewelry. That is the base of the outfit. My shoes are just some big, chunky, I call them my Daria boots from Public Desire. This jacket, I love a good bomber jacket, and I've never found a bomber jacket as good as this one. This bomber jacket is from Alpha Industries and I love the colour of it because I feel like it's so rare. Like I don't think I've ever seen a bomber jacket in this colour. It's like a, it's almost between a khaki and a brown. And I just think it's so cool. It's got the classic red um, interior, which we love. Oh, I feel like it's actually reversible. I have had this jacket for years and I didn't know that. Love this outfit for days where it is actually a little bit chillier as well because these kind of bomber jackets are super warm. And then you've got the longer sleeve which always adds another layer of warmth. And you can always layer like a smaller crop top underneath this as well without it having to be seen so it doesn't take away from the outfit. But yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 on this outfit. But if I do say so myself. And this is the full outfit. I love this outfit way more than I thought I would. I need to try and incorporate blue jeans into my outfits a lot more, especially in the winter and autumn. I always feel like I lean more towards like autumnal winter colors, which is for me just neutrals and black, but I don't want to do that anymore. So this is what we're going for and I'm in love. Can 
we just take a moment for this dress? First of all, the colours are, I feel like so on trend right now, like greens, blues, just are giving. And you guys know I'm obsessed with the colour green, like my surname is green, how could I not be? Ooh. Sorry, one of them little dangly hanger bits are hanging out of the dress. This dress is everything to me. I posted it on my Instagram and you guys were obsessed and I completely agree. <laughs> it's just, the shape of it is so flattering. I've taken one of my necklaces off by the way because I just feel like the way this drops looks so elegant and it fits the V shape again really perfectly. And I didn't want to overdo it because I feel like the print is so statement on this dress anyway that I just wanted the jewelry to be like super simplistic and complimentary to it. I did keep the extra charm on the earrings though because I feel like they add like a really nice bit of elegance to go with the dress. And of course I have to throw on this ring because it's green and it's got these really awesome charms that are like, they're just beautiful. Um, so I thought I'd throw that on with this look. I think it's such a cool ring. And the charms are interchangeable. So again, you can change it to anything. I could mix and stack, but I just like the way that that looks. Oh, it goes so well. It's literally the perfect green. It's basically identical in color. I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna show you the full dress. I guess on me it's a midi. Is that a midi or a maxi? It's in between a midi and a maxi. Look at the shape of this dress. It's so flattering. I love how the bottom's kind of like, I don't know how you describe that, mermaid -y? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've just chucked my black buffaloes on with this actually, because again, you know how I am. As much as an outfit will be like elegant and feminine, I always like to rough it up a little bit. That is just my style, I guess. For the jacket, I feel like we're gonna have to go with this like vintage style leather jacket. Leather jackets are an absolute staple for this time of year. I don't care what anyone says. They're just my favorite for this time of year. Um, what is great about this dress as well, I feel like, is you could always like layer like a thin high neck underneath it or something or a long sleeve top underneath it and I think that would look really cool. And yeah, I've gone for this spiky bun with like pieces out because I feel like it's nice. I don't know. I feel like I wanted to have my neck out to really um, like accentuate the jewelry and show it off and show off the line of the dress. And I just feel like it, really complements the outfit. This is the outfit in its entirety. I love this, I'm obsessed. And again, I'm trying to add color into my outfits for these seasons and I feel like this is the perfect way to do it. my last outfit I've gone for more of a kind of skater girl vibe. This is definitely something that I would wear when I go out skating. It's super comfortable and casual but I feel like it still looks really cool um, and a bit different especially the way I styled these trousers. These are the Dickies 874 pants, just the work pants. I keep seeing this on Instagram where people have like flipped it over although I do feel like I could do with a bigger size but I feel like it looks really cool and it just gives it a, like a different vibe. So yeah I love the way that is styled and these trousers are cool you can kind of roll them up they're quite stiff so they hold their shape really nicely my jumper is from public desire i love the fit of this it is the most perfect fit of a jumper for me like if everybody could please make jumpers like this from now on that would be great thank you for jewelry i've taken off my longer chain and i've just kept the shorter one with the freedom charm attached and then i took off the extra piece of the earring and added this really cute smiley face charm. I think it's so fun and it adds to kind of the playful vibe of this outfit, like skater and fun. Um, and then on this side, I've got this really cute little flame. I'm obsessed. I've kept the green ring on and you'll see why with the jacket in a minute. Oh, and for my shoes, sorry, my bad. Vans high tops has to be the skate highs to go with the outfit. And I've just thrown my hair up because I feel like it's quite a casual look and because it's quite like covered up up here I just like having my hair out of my face I feel like it looks kind of nice I've got my glasses on and for my jacket I've got this green as I told you guys I'm obsessed with green and I feel like it is the color of the season but this jacket I've not worn enough and I feel like it just gives like a really cool vibe once again um, I love the shade of green this is it's super warm and it's soft and it goes like this all the way through on the insides and this is by the brand Not So Ape. So yeah, the ring again goes really well with it. So I'll show you the full outfit. 
I think it's very cool, a nice little casual outfit to head into the weekend with, and very great for skating. <laughs> So guys, that is it for my autumn outfits. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and perhaps maybe got some inspiration from it if you guys have been struggling like me to kind of dress for this weird time of year. I'm super excited to be doing more of this kind of stuff and I definitely want to get a bit more creative with it, um, but I just thought for the first one it'd be fun to do it this way. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this from me and if there's a, a kind of format that you'd prefer to see it in it or if you like me kind of talking through the outfits. I feel like I've got so many ideas now, so that's super exciting. Thanks again to Pandora for sponsoring this video and for providing me with some amazing jewellery. I'm defo going to be back on that website looking for some more pieces to add to my collection because I am obsessed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys all in the next video. Until next time. Bye.